Okay, I'm going to show you how you can round trip from an Avid Media Composer or Symphony through Resolve over to Touch Edit, back out of Touch Edit with a brief stop at Final Cut, back into Resolve, and then back to Avid, preserving, preserving the cuts that you made in, um, in Touch Edit. I know this is a convoluted process, but until we put in AAF, which should be very soon, uh, this will get you back to an Avid with your cut. So I have scene 30 here from this indie. I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna hold down option and drag it into the record monitor to make all of the clips into one sequence. Uh, I'm gonna call that scene 30, uh, I'll call it round trip. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and I am going to go to export and I'm going to go to export. Um, in this case, we're going to go, uh, we're going to export this to an AAF. AAF, because we have to get this uh, info um, around and back. So we're going to include all audio and video. This actually has four channels of video. And uh, we are going to link to uh, not export the media. So this is all good to go. You don't have anything selected here other than include all video and audio tracks and link to media. So let's save that. There it goes. It's a, it says uh, scene 30 round trip AAF. Um, I am going to send this to the desktop. Okay. So there it is. That's, that's part one because that's the end of Avid's journey. Now I am going to, <clears throat> I'm going to hide the Avid here. Let's open Resolve. Okay, let's create a new project. There we have it. Now the first thing we need to do, go to, we go to Conform and we import our AAF that we created in Avid. There it is, Scene 30 Round Trip AAF. We bring that in. Um, we are going to, let's see, yeah, leave these all here and that is what we want. Let's bring this in. Okay, there, found everything. Now, note the one, the one not so cool thing here is that uh, Resolve doesn't give a damn about the name that you had in the Avid. Uh, although it's, it's in there, it's in that metadata somewhere, but uh, it's just going to name everything by uh, the name of the file name. Okay, so now we're going to take um, all of our audio here. Now, we know that we have... Um, lost our name here so let's go back into the media pool here and um, let's just go ahead and um, in shot let's look at each of these and let's quickly enter this this is because since we don't have our name we're going to put a burn in here so we can tell what we're looking at on each of these guys okay where's your slate 32 okay Okay, so we've named, we've put in the uh, in the shot category all the names of our shot. Now we're going to go over to color for a second, not to actually do any color. Of course, we could, but what we're going to tell it is that we want to use that column called shot. Um, that way, we're going to have um, a reference that tells us what we're looking at. So we will we'll just keep this. Um, I don't know. Why don't we? Um, move this, uh, pan this over so it's just in this bottom corner. And that way, because we're not going to have it in the name column and touch at it, we'll be able to see what shot we're looking at. Okay, so let's see. Now we're going to go over to deliver. Okay, so we want to, um, why don't we start by using export to Final Cut Pro, although we do not want to uh, use ProRes. We, for touch edit, we're using H.264. Uh, 1920-1080 is a little overkill for us, and because we're going to bring it back, let's just do it as offline media at 640 by 360. That's the correct frame rate. We're carrying that through. We do want to render our audio, and let's take all four channels. Yes, this is very important. We're going to render out as individual source clips. 
let's uh, go ahead and save this job somewhere good. Um, how's about, I'm gonna save it over to, uh, I'll just save it to my music drive for now. And um, then I'm going to make a subfolder inside here that says um, uh, scene 30 H264. Okay. Um, data burn in, same as project. We set that uh, to have that name in the corner. And um, yeah, absolutely. You see it use source file name. That's the key here. We don't want to have a unique file name at this point because we're going to want to match back. So that is all of these settings. Okay, so we're good to go, but let's make sure we've selected all of our clips. So you kind of, you right click um, and then say select all. And notice that that jumped, to, it's now six minutes. Now let's add the job, ignore this window and go right to starting to render. You can see our burn in is going there. That'll help us know what shot we're on. Okay, so we're done rendering now. Uh, let's uh, get out of DaVinci Resolve here and uh, go into um, uh, iTunes. I'm gonna hide that. Okay, I see our file. Let's go ahead and um, start iTunes up so that we can attach our iPad, which I'm gonna do right now while we're loading. Okay. So that is now loaded. Uh, we're in iTunes here. Um, I am waiting. There's my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm going to hit apps so that we can get to this iTunes sharing. Um, let's see. Going down here, I see touch edit. Okay. Now, uh, nice and empty right now. So let's go ahead and open. This is what we created here. It's what we rendered. Here are the files. You can see it has those wild avid names. Let's put these in here. And now these are copying into touch edit. All right, that's a very quick operation as you can see. Um, it looks like this is gonna only take about in total a minute. Okay, let's look at uh, the footage inside touch edit here or on the iPad. Okay, let's go and um, uh, let's create a new project. Uh, we'll call it uh, scene 30, maybe think of scene 30 round trip. Okay, uh, let's get in here. All right, let's go to media. Oh, and there are all of our clips. Uh, we're already in the import and iTunes sharing, so we'll select them all. Uh, import them and do new collection. We'll call it scene 30. Scene 30, okay, um, now let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Okay, let's look at what we have here. Sir, sir, excuse me. May I help you? Uh, yeah, I, I can't seem to get this thing to work. This is a full service station, sir. I'm gonna pump that gas for you. Oh, sorry. Okay, so that is what we're going to export. So let's save it first. Um, uh, we will call this sucker, again, scene 30, and we'll call it a rough. Okay, and we're gonna put that into cuts. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and export it to iTunes. Let's go ahead and include the media with it because we are going to be going uh, through Final Cut. So, it is right now exporting. It takes just a second. 